What's going on YouTube? It's Virgil with another video. Today we're going to be looking at a football jersey in my collection, something that I haven't really shown yet. Kind of shake things up from the usual baseball and hockey stuff that you're used to. And an authentic jersey. Just uh, want to get this one out of the way really quick. Um, it's a beautiful day outside, I want to do some skateboarding. So uh, Before I get into this jersey, I want to give a big shout out to Vita 35 and the Murph. Those two guys answered really fast to my challenge question of what jersey they have the most connection with. And it was really fascinating hearing those little stories, those little details. Uh, so thank you again for the uploads. Now this jersey is probably one of the classiest looking ones in my collection. Probably the best, one of the best looking ones in my collection, even though it's so basic. But I just had to get it after seeing the documentary straight out of LA on ESPN. So you probably know what it is just by that reference. Um, so here it is on hand is my Reebok Authentic Marcus Allen Raiders jersey. Beautiful piece all around. It was a custom made item. It used to be Jamarcus Russell and then I took it apart and uh, had them customize number 32. So, beautiful piece again. And uh, the silver and black color combinations always work together. So, getting into the detail, we got the NFL equipment piping on the back of the collar with the size tag. This is the NFL equipment shield. The front bears the large number 32 in single layer tackle twill. And the sides here with the single layer tackle twill. And if you look carefully, you'll see the damage where the two used to be. There's like tiny little holes and snags, but still overshadowed by the big silver numbers. The back here sports Allen on a name bar and the extra large 32 down below. Also here's the jog tag. So you know it's an older run version. I guess the guy the guy took a older jersey before Jamarcus Russell and then turned it into that. And then I turned it into this. Still fits the era. I did have a snapback to go with this, but I sold it because I wanted to use that money to buy the fitted, and then the fitted wasn't available, so I ended up just keeping the money. But this jersey still, you don't need a hat to go with it, it's still pretty sick, and you'll still look fresh in it. I wore it once to LA and I got some pretty good looks. Shoutouts to my cousins, Theo and Tyler, out of the Oxnard County area. Um, great city, thanks for taking me around. So that's going to do it for my video. Um, let me know what you guys think, please leave a comment. Um, check out the Facebook pages, Murphs Collectibles. HDF Nation and the Kings of Throwbacks, and a big shout out to the city of Oakland, California, and the city of Los Angeles, California, as well. Check out my blog at virgilnd.blogspot.ca. Till next time, Jersey collectors and sports fans and everyone in between, have a great weekend. Take care.